iPhone 4. The iPhone 4 was the most anticipated Apple product in years. Sleek, glossy. This is part of some brilliant engineering. Early adapters lined up for hours to get their hands on one and almost immediately started complaining. It's worthless, it's worthless. Jonathan Benaroach called Apple to tell them... The phone doesn't work. It frequently drops calls, he complains. Hello? He had to call his mother back. Are right, you hear me? I hear you. After testing the iPhone 4, Consumer Reports found the problem is with the antenna, with this uniquely designed built-in antenna wrapping around the edge of the phone. It's easy to block reception just by holding it. What mocking consumers call the death grip. Knowing that there's a problem like of this uh, severity, um, we couldn't really recommend it. Today, Apple's Steve Jobs struck back. He said Apple was aware of the problem, but called it much ado about nothing. Of the three million phones sold, only one half of one percent of buyers have complained. What the data says leads you to the conclusion that this has been blown so out of proportion that it's, it's incredible. But with Apple's stock taking a hit since they rolled out the phone 22 days ago, and the phone the butt of jokes... To make a call, you have to insert a quarter. Apple had to act. Today, Jobs offered a fix. Bumpers, rubber casings to keep fingers off the antenna, free to iPhone 4 owners, rebates to those who've already bought one. So, Jonathan, are you satisfied? I still feel that the phone is defective. Um, again, the bumper is like a band-aid. Which Apple hopes will help heal its self-inflicted wound. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.